Hi, I'm Kira. I'm James. And we're from the Epidemiology and Modelling Group. Um, so we work on developing models uh, to look at the spread of plant diseases to inform people on how to best control for the disease. And at the Science Festival we have developed a game to help show how climatic factors are important in um, the spread of disease, and in particular light. So leaves um, on plants have stomata that open in response to light, which allows them to photosynthesize. But when they're open, they can also allow in horrible things like pathogens. So they also have a response um, that allows them to close, but they obviously need to, to stay open as much as possible so they can photosynthesize lots. So there's an optimization problem here, and we've developed a game, or rather James has developed a game, um, to, help, to help you understand how this works. James, do you want to tell us a bit about the game? So um, we're challenging you to um, beat the plant. Can you, can you keep your somata open for as long as possible to allow as much photosynthesis as possible, whilst also avoiding the rain of pathogens coming down from the sky by shutting your somata at the right moment? We're trying to show you the kind of thought or the processes going in behind how plants might work, how they might sum up risk and benefit. Yes, we're getting really excited about it. So our exhibit's all about how different flowers use different patterns on the petals to attract pollinators. So you might have spots or you might have um, lines directing the, the bee in towards where the nectar is, or you might have a bullseye target in the middle. So we're growing lots of different plants that have different patterns on them to show people, and some of those are very important for crops, like broad beans. Um, we've got some, some nice posters explaining how it all works. We're going to have our, uh, our bees out and they'll have a, a display where they've got to choose between spotted flowers and non-spotted flowers, so people will be able to work out which ones the bees are choosing from. And then we've got a nice activity for the children to do as well, where they have to, to make their own patterned flower with different spots in the middle and bullseye targets, um, and then we'll turn it into a keyring for them, sew it all together and they can have a keyring to take home as well. So we're, we're busy with getting all of those things ready.